I'm Jolene Elman Brunt, known as Lulu. I'm 24 years of age, turning 25 soon. I basically grew up in Bintuk, the capital city of Namibia, where I went to high school in Marito, another town in Namibia. Finished off, and then I started my diploma, visual arts diploma, at the College of the Arts in 2015, where I am a graduate this year, which is 2018. So throughout my years at the College of the Arts, I studied various mediums, so it was sculpture, ceramics, textile, uh, mixed media, a very variety. The variety was huge, so by the year of my last year, I finally had to choose a medium that I would be fixed on. And being the kind of indecisive person that I am, I decided to go on to mixed media, whereby I could use a variety of different mediums into my artworks. And this also helped me explore myself in a way whereby using different mediums to like reflect on who I really am as a person. So mixed media is basically we use different types of mediums, variety of but to me I used collective materials like recycled materials in terms of um, rust metal, wool, paint, which is acrylic paint of course. But on a variety variety scale you can use any medium according to what you want. And I focus on 2D media surfaces, not sculpture or anything. So yeah, that's basic. And this this collective items that I use is like reflecting on my personal personal point of views. Where I use rust metal to reflect on pain, and because of the rust, and the, you can see that it's been through a lot throughout the process of becoming rust. The thread I use as the stitching method, using the stitching method whereby I combine, um, not combine, but how do I say that? Like almost like stitching all these scars and wounds together. And that's, it, it, the paint is just, okay, the way I use my paint, well, first I used to reflect on my surfaces by applying uh, PDA first and then going on with acrylic and then like scratching it off. With, same thing, but you come a kind, kind of like give me like texture and that feeling of um, like sensitivity feeling. Okay, yeah. So that's what my mix media is based on. And this piece, I actually had a dream about it, and I told Mongo about it, but it was actually a bird with numbers um, and an eye of my own, because I like to draw eyes. So. I thought that I could should connect this, but I did not use her when I started to use Colombian Rosan. But I don't I wouldn't say that um mixed media will be a lifelong lifelong uh, term thing for me because I'm basically influenced on my emotions and what I create by it. So my emotions will tell what medium I'm gonna be using next. So for now it's mixed media, but you never know on the way in the future forward. So I'm not going to just say that I'm going to be sticking on mixed media. It's going to be influenced by a lot of things, you know, modernizing and like evolution takes place within the arts industry. So it's going to it's going to be shared with the process of life. So, yeah. And as you can see, the wolf represents myself as a person or my spirit animal, and it's like. You can see the nature within this, you can see the peace and the serenity within this because it's like whenever you, you're surrounded by silence and it's, it's just another motion you go through. So this piece strongly reflects on your emotions and who and what you really are and what nature uh, makes you be, what kind of person you are because in, within, within the silence you tend to find yourself as a human being. You tend to find all these things that's going around um, in your life that it, it, it's disappearing and you find yourself at peace. So this is what it symbolizes. And the title is Release Me. Why is it release me? It's in terms of, you know, you, sometimes you feel trapped in so many, your, your thoughts and what your situations in life and while you while you're surrounded by this peaceful surrounding us, such as nature, you actually release all that emotions and you let free. 
So the bird symbolizes that, the wolf symbolizes it, the tree symbolizes the sunset, the, the, the ocean view and such both symbolizes um, freedoms, peace and all this. So yeah. variety of charcoal, um, spray paint, acrylic paint, uh, oil paint. It's like a variety of different mediums of paint and this reflects on who I am as a person um, whereby um, its statement of the title is I'm a conqueror and sometimes you have to go through life's obstacle to finally see and as you can see, the keys are when you when you finally find yourself. It's when you eventually open up the doors to conquering something in life, conquering your success, conquering your tribals, your your tribulations, all those things. And 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 yet again, nature helps you find yourself. Whereby I say it's it's where you find peace and it's where you find your your inner self. So this is what I meant by being a conqueror within this sunset, a bird flying, the keys that, unlo that unlocks that doors that's closed in terms of the doors that's, that's stopping you from becoming who you want to be in life. So let art be your escape to your emotions and let it be like the center of what, what life puts in front of you because to be honest with you, life, art and life is linked in so many forms that once you create art, you reflect yourself as well as you reflect the people around you because you never know what art speaks to people or what, what, it, what it says in so many words that other people can't define themselves as. Thank you for watching. Your views and opinions will grow the progressive artist. Please don't forget to like, share, comment and subscribe for more creative content. Additionally, don't forget to press the bell icon so you don't miss out on any creative and artistic videos.